Hi, I'm Lindsay, and today you're going to learn five easy roller skating tricks that will make you look like a pro. This video is going to build on my last one. It is part of a series called Learn to Skate in 30 Days, where I help you go from a wobbly beginner to a confident pro in 30 days. So if you struggle with anything, make sure to go back and review. Our first move is one that I do all the time because it's super fun and looks super cool. For this move, you're gonna start with your feet in a bubble. So you're starting with your feet both at a point to the front and then you're pushing open with the bubble like you've been practicing. Then you're going to weave your heel in and then out and then you can keep going or if you're in a small space like I am, go to a T-stop. Here it is from a different angle, still in slow motion. So I'm doing the initial bubble to gain power, then I'm weaving the heel in and then out and then coming to a stop. So make sure to practice this on both sides. This is my good side that I've been doing basically the whole time in this video so far. And here is my other side that isn't as good, but we all still need to work on our bad sides too. Here are some full speed clips so you can get a real feel for how it looks in real time. And let's go ahead and practice this 10 times on both sides, making sure that you get it down nice and smooth so that by the end of this video, we can do alternating sides in a combo that I'm gonna teach you at the end. Our next move is two foot spins. So we're gonna start off with standing half moon circles. So I slowed down this clip to make it a little bit easier to follow. So I'm making a little half moon leading with my heel and then following on the other heel. So lead with the heel and then use that momentum to slide the other foot to parallel. This is my motion to say, make sure to do both sides. So now we're going to the opposite side. So making that half moon with the heel and then following the other foot around to join it. When I do this, the first foot stays flat, but pushes outward and the second foot follows, but I transfer my weight mostly to my heel. So here we go from a closer angle. Flat foot makes the half moon circle and then the other foot follows with the weight on the heel. Let's do the half moon circles 10 times on both sides. And then we're gonna try and speed this up. So make them a little bit faster. So faster half moon, faster follow. So go ahead and practice a few times, making sure that you do this with increasing speed and make sure you're practicing on both sides. So now that we've got the first part down, let's go ahead and go on to the second part, which is continuing. So instead of stopping after you do the one half moon circle, you're gonna keep going. So do the half moon with the first foot and then continue in the same direction and then do it again. At first you can take a slight pause between each one, but eventually you won't have to. Here's an overhead view so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm making the half moon and then instead of stopping and switching, I continue making the half moon, but eventually you get more power and it becomes easier so you don't have to make as big of a half moon. And then you kind of get into a flow and your momentum starts to take you as you can just rotate around and it becomes super easy and super fun. Let's go ahead and do this five times on each side or until you have it down smooth and confidently on both sides. The next move that we're going to be learning is a slalom style move. So making S shapes with both feet and you're actually able to create and generate power. And if you had like a larger space, you can actually just continue doing this as just a, like a method of skating like forward. You wouldn't even need to like push off because you just generate your own momentum doing this. And it's super fun because you get to use your hips a lot and it makes a little cute dance move. And it's also cool to do both forwards and backwards. So we're gonna do both of them right now. So I like to start off with my feet doing a bubble. And then just like the last move, I'm gonna pull the one foot in, but once I do that, they're gonna match in parallel. So they're gonna keep the same angle as each other both the whole time after that. So here it is again, I'm bubbling, then I'm matching my feet in parallel and see how both heels point in the same direction. That's what you want to do. Now to make it powerful and to actually like be able to move back and like gain power while you do this, you're going to use your hips a lot. Look at my hips. They're going side to side and I'm using my knee bend to like deep, dig deep down into the like ground. So I'm like really pushing off the ground and I'm pushing off at an outward angle. So I'm pushing out as I push my heels to the opposite side. And I'm also leaning in with my whole body as I push outwards with my skates. As you can see in this clip, make sure that when you're doing this, when your feet are staying in parallel, you're pushing really hard with the outward foot, which will make it like feel like it's making like a tiny little half circle around the other foot. But the feet both still have to stay at the same angle to continue the motion. 
Let's go ahead and practice this 10 times both ways. So 10 times forward and 10 times backward. The next move is one that you have been building up to. So for the first five days, we've been working on a practice for this move because it's, it's hard to do to balance. So let's warm this up by doing some manuals in place. If you need to, you can hold on to like a chair or a wall at first. Then let's go ahead and practice this rolling. So at first, if you need to, just like in the other videos, go ahead and keep your back foot completely flat and then do just the heel manual on the front. And then you can work on trying to lift up the back foot, like up and down until you can find your balance. But by today, I think you probably have this. So let's go ahead and practice 10 times on both sides. My best tip for this is to think about like squeezing your like inner thighs and your quads when you do this. I find that that helps so much. And then also if you're able to do that, then you can either make it like super wide or super close and you like have control over like how wide your manual is. And if you start to feel confident, you can do this in like little curve shapes. So you don't always have to be going in a straight line, which is one of the things that makes manuals so fun and versatile. And also it's a great skill that you need to know to build on other skills too. Before we go on to our combo for today, we need to make sure that we can just skate backwards in a standard format. So you're gonna start with your toes in, heels out, and then you're just gonna be pushing out at a diagonal, alternating feet side to side. And this can start off really small and slow, and then you'll be able to do it faster and bigger. So pushing out and diagonal with alternating sides, keeping those knees bent, keeping the head up and the core tight. Let's practice this five times just so we have it down for our combo. Now we're gonna start building the pieces together to make our combo. So the first little part of the combo is a transition into the skating backwards that we just did. So you learned the transition in the last video. So if you don't have that yet, make sure to go back and review that. So this is in slow motion. We're starting rolling forward, do the transition, and then right into the backwards skating, just like we did pushing outwards, keeping that core tight, and keeping those knees slightly bent. Make sure you can do this on both sides. So do the other side. And let's practice this five times on both sides. Next, we're gonna add a manual into that combo. So we're gonna manual in, do the transition, and then go into the backwards skating. Here it is on the other side. Let's go ahead and practice this five times on each side. Now we're gonna switch the backwards skating for the one leg S in front. Once you've practiced that a few times on both sides, now you're gonna do it with alternating S's in front. So here we go. Manual into transition into alternating S's for as much space as you have room for. And this is what it looks like if you try it in a tiny space, it makes your transition a little bit cramped, but you can still fit everything in. Practice that at least 10 times or until you have it down. And that was your day six. Congratulations, really good job. Make sure if you haven't yet that you have downloaded the Learn to Skate in 30 Days checklist that has all the skills that you're gonna learn in the 30 days. And also make sure you're staying hydrated. I like these hydration sticks because they don't have any sugar and also they have electrolytes. So it makes up for what I've lost while I'm skating, which is really important. And they also taste really good. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along for the entire 30 day series that will take you from wobbly beginner to confident pro in 30 days.